<clears throat> just so you guys know what I'm doing here the meter on the right is connected from the battery to the PWM and it is showing zero amps the meter on the left is connected up to the battery with the light on and you can see it's reading 40 volts and maintaining it very well considering there's a fully lit light on there um, this is just something that I'm experimenting with it seems to be working well um, it's kind of like um, a Don Smith setup but a little bit different the coils that I have wound this is actually kind of like a Don Smith coil or a tri-coil setup um, with opposing magnetic fields so um, the coil is uh, the coil on the left um, is wound in one direction and the coil on the right is wound in the opposite direction and they meet at the center of that ferrite rod and on top of it is that one coil which is picking up the resonant energy so the and the out, output of that the output of that coil the round singular coil is then fed into that um, that uh, diode bridge rectifier and it has a couple of uh, strategically placed caps on it and then from the diode bridge it goes over into this microwave transformer and then from the microwave transformer it goes into the battery the um, power supply that's there or the uh, battery charger on the right is not hooked up to anything um, it's just being used as a grounding source um, it's not really hooked up to anything so that's what's happening it's, it's very stable it's pulling basically nothing from the battery sometimes it flickers to 0 0.01 of a milliamp um, but most of the time it's at zero and it's coming straight from that battery which is not a large battery at all um, pretty interesting and it's definitely doing something for sure it's definitely affecting the power in some way it's basically looped I have it looped um, the battery goes into the PWM the PWM goes into the uh, uh, Don Smith rod and then it then the then it comes out from the pickup coil pickup coil goes to the bridge rectifier rectifier to the um, high voltage um, capacitor and then the cap goes in, back into the battery so it is definitely a full circle um, and it's very stable is it a hundred percent stable I'm not sure at this point in time I'm just messing around with it right now but uh, it is very stable um, without the battery hooked up as a receiver um, the voltage is in I don't know 300 probably 300 volts without a load on it um, with the battery load on it it goes to 40 and uh, is maintaining and or possibly charging the, the battery but uh, only time will tell um, the light is 100 percent lit regardless of if the PWM is on or off because uh, it is drawing directly from the battery so at the very least that voltage should be dropping significantly faster with a full load on it um, it's a 6 watt uh, LED and it's full brightness and again it's hooked directly up to the battery so uh, you know at the very least with the with the um, 
PWM consumes two milliamps um, on its own without doing anything so that's not even showing on the uh, meter at this time as an input or a load and uh, with everything else running uh, there's obviously a lot of power that's required to do this but uh, it's not showing uh, on the meter either I think that's because there's a definite feedback going to the battery and it's offsetting the input so that's what's happening uh, I'm just playing with it right now just to see what it can do and uh, changing the settings so that's it Just going to unhook the light so you should uh, see the voltage climb, I would think.